You already know I gotta get my hot sauce. Let's go. Guess what? I forgot my umbrella. So now I gotta go back. I cannot go out do and do this work without the umbrella today because I know it's gonna be raining later most of the day. So hey uh do you guys know if the hurricane's gonna hit that much? Oh come on. Come on. Really? Really? Really duck? Alright, fine, I'm I'll leave. I'll leave. Okay, okay. But just stop pooing. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers. My longtime viewers, welcome back to my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Wednesday, September 28th, and this is how much we made so far during the week. On Instacart, we made $155.57, and our Uber Eats, we made $33.55 for a total of $189.12. As you can tell, it is super windy out here. I'm trying to make it so this phone does not fall. I want to catch this whole intro without blocking it. And as you can see that the Hurricane Ian is supposed to be around here, but it's not supposed to be that bad here uh, around the South Florida area. So we are going to do as many orders as possible until it gets way too dangerous to do any more deliveries. And uh, and that's that's you know, and then we'll go home after that. But for now, let's just let's just tough it out a little bit. I'm ready. I have my umbrella. I have my raincoat. I have it all. So let's see what happens. Let's cross our fingers. Let's do this safely. And let, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe. But my people, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it with a with 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 a smile. Let's go, baby. Let's make that cash. All right, so I'm going to drive to my preferred Publix, but I'm going to turn on all the apps. I'm gonna turn on Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash because there's no traffic, nobody's leaving, like nobody's out. So I'm gonna see if, so that's good for food deliveries, you know, there's less traffic. So I'm gonna turn on all the apps and see what I can get. Let's go. Actually, never mind, guys. On DoorDash, I forgot that they send us this message here that you see on the screen that they're gonna turn off the whole app for Wednesday, but all the other apps are on. So only only DoorDash cares about us, about our safety, which is not good, you know? All right, let's go do all the other apps, So, All right, the time is 8.08, a minute later. We accepted uh, Milam's market order, Instacart, $13 for two items, but the two items is a flashlight and it's like two different flashlights. So I don't know if it's gonna be in stock. It's Milam's market, I don't know. We will see, let's go, go. All right, here we go. Let's see if they got these flashlights. All right, so supposedly he's in the camping section and this is the camping section right here, but there's no flashlights. There's no flashlights around here. Uh, I might have to cancel, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could look around other places, but it's not here. Oh guys, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna bring back the uh, Zoa Energy guys, but I couldn't find it where I was. So I'm like, oh, let me go just go to Vitamin Shop if, if it's still open because of the hurricane. A lot of stores are closed, but I have it. I see it here, but I'm going to buy it somewhere else. But I am bringing back the Zoa, guys. All right, it's been eight minutes and we are done. We got the flashlights. I went to customer service and I was like, hey, uh, do you guys have flashlights? They're like, oh, uh, do you check the back, which is where the camping session. I was like, yeah, I checked already. And they're like, oh, um, yeah, I don't think we sell those if it's not there. I was like, oh, OK. And then I went to put not find, and then I saw this, that somebody else found it yesterday at 2.40. I'm like, okay, somebody found it, and it has to be here something. And then I checked the front, boom, we got it. So we got this, guys. Oh, yeah, so we saved ourselves a good amount of money and time. All right, let's go pay for this and deliver. All right, we got everything here. Let's go deliver. All right, the time is 8.38 in the morning, and we completed that $13 order for two items, and we accepted on the way to the delivery a $12 Uber Eats order for nine miles, but we already drove a few miles, so or I think one mile, or one and a half. Let's say it's really eight miles for $12, because we have to drive, we're, we, we're driving on the way anyway, so let's go get it. All right, here we go, the salty donut. All right, we got everything here. It's a huge bag with some drinks. That should be safe, it should not move. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so I know that these instructions are probably the notes say to ID at doormat, kids are sleeping or whatever, and then to leave it, I guess. And the, the instruction is to meet at door. So the notes say to leave at door and the instructions to meet at door. So I send her a text just just in case. I was like, hey, uh, hello, I, I see your notes say to leave at door, but the instructions is to meet at door. Would you like me to leave at door or meet? To see what she says. I don't wanna be 
leaving it and then they get mad, you know? So we'll see. All right, so I knew it. The hurricane is called Ian, not Ian. I keep hearing Ian and then I'm like, Ian, it's Ian. So it is Ian, guys, Hurricane Ian. Okay, the time is 9, 10 in the morning and we completed that $12 order for eight miles. It ended up being, and let's go continue the hustle. Let's go. Guys, this is the highest number of items I've seen on a triple batch. It's $38. 60 items three customers that is a lot of items for three customers guys yeah all right the time is 9 23 in the morning and we accepted a 16 dollar instacart total wine order for two items let's go all right we are here total wine still no it's just wins so far all right i found the wines but i can't find the beer so i'm gonna go to this cooler to see if they have it here's where all the kegs are it's uh this is like it's pretty crazy it's cold in here go check it out it's cold but i can't find the beer all right it's been five minutes and we are done uh the customer wanted a 15 pack and they didn't have but the customer requested an 18 pack they don't have it so we got this and then we got three uh let me see what it is sabernet blanc that's how you pronounce it i'm sorry guys i never i never really knew how to pronounce that stuff but let's go pay and deliver okay so the customer wanted two of these so we're gonna get them two natural ice all right now let's pay and deliver all right we got the package here let's go deliver all right we're gonna use our handy dandy wagon because we're delivering to a condominium all right the time is 10 o'clock and we completed that it ended up being 20 dollar order yeah, i guess because i had to add all that beer and then the guy answered the door he said hey we ordered one of those I was like, well, you guys requested an extra one. So it was miscommunication between the husband and wife. But we are done. Let us continue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 10, 12, and we are at $50. Uh, I just noticed that the Uber Eats order ended up being 16 instead of 12. $50 without breaking a sweat. Oh my goodness. I love it. I, could, I love it when we make money this fast. The streets are empty, so I could take, I could take like pretty good Uber Eats orders and do them very fast because there's no traffic um because everybody's at home and there's no wind look there's no wind look let me show you no wind guys i mean the wind like died down but that's it no rain look at that nothing 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 all right all right the time is 10 19 and we accepted an office depot office max order first ever office depot office max instacart order i've ever done in my life no you know what i think i did it once like a few years back but let's go get it it's for two items 11 dollars. let's go we are here let's see what happens all right it's been six minutes and we are done ladies and gentlemen we got both things this one didn't scan the port the usb but but the other one did but this is i made sure it's the correct one it's been quick and painless just like the other order what was the other order that we did that was quick and painless it was a uh, ah, i forgot okay but we got this six minutes let's go deliver all right we got the package let's deliver it no rain been good all right the time is 10 47 in the morning and we completed that 11 dollar order for two items let us continue we might have to charge though all right the time is 10 57 in the morning and we accepted a beautiful order but i barely have charged but we could probably we could probably make it it is a 19 dollar instacart order for how many items for seven items 19 dollars all these all these order so it's a, it's, a, it's a great order let's go get it all right all these let's go seven items let's do it all right guys i just heard from an employee that he was screaming i was like oh instacart employees uh, Insta uh instacart employees our system is not processing payment our system is not processing your payment only instacart though it's kind of that's that's a little weird but um I, if, if if it doesn't i'm gonna try the card if it does not go through i'm gonna pay uh with my own card and then i'm gonna see how it works i i might I mean, I've heard horror stories of people not processing payments on Reddit, but it could be a lot of people are not following the directions. So I'm gonna try it out just, you know, just to see, you know, to show you guys, see if it works or not. Uh, but let's see, let's see what happens. All right, it's been 15 minutes and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, let's go pay for this and let's see if, let's see what happens with the card. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna use my card and just hope for the best guys all right so remember this is uh we have to do different pins so maybe people are not putting the right pin and not following directions so that could be it so let's put in because it's a different pin this time so let's try that see if it works all right we fit everything in two bags let's go deliver this guys i forgot to explain it the card worked i ended up uh, putting credit instead of debit so 
the guy said, the guy said that some other guy just tried it and it was credit, credit work. So I didn't have to use my own card. All right, let's go. All right, back secure, let's deliver. Guys, right, check out this note from the customer. The customer said, please leave inside the gate and put on the side of the main door. Please do not leave groceries blocking the main door, please. So we had a lot, we got a lot of our colleagues, our home people, the, you know, putting it right in front of the door. So this customer's already fed up and has to put everything in caps, you know? All right, this is just what I needed. People blocking, blocking the streets. Why, why? Oh, this is a, a, a graveyard. Maybe, maybe that's why. There's a long line going inside the graveyard. All right. These are the tombstones here. And I don't know what's going on. Can we please pass, please? Right, the time is 11.40 and we completed that. Oh, it's windy. $18 order, it ended up being $18 order for seven items. And ladies and gentlemen, it is 11.40 and we are at 80 smackaroos. 80 smackaroos. Let's charge the car. Let's charge the car real, real quick. We'll do it fast, do a fast charging so that we can get it back on the road super quick and continue the grind. Let's go. Can we get to 200? I doubt it. Every time we, we do good, we end up not doing good in the end. The momentum always always dies, but we will see what happens. We just gotta go with the flow. Let's go, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the charger. So let's eat, let us eat. We got a lot of rice. That's what I love, beans, rice and beans. You already know if you're Hispanic, Hispanic, you, you already know that the rice is the best. So they gotta give me more of this portion so I can get big. All right, uh, so we got chicken, we got white rice all over the place. We got some beans, we got some, some of this, uh, this, and then we're gonna put, um, I'm gonna put this, I'm not gonna put this on everything. I'm gonna eat it without it first to see how it is. And if I need some, some seasoning, then I will put this, but this is a brand new spanking, a brand spanking new hot sauce. But let us eat, let's go. All right, the time is 12.20 p.m. and we accepted a Instacart total wine order, $14.80, let's say $15 for two items let's go all right we are here and still nothing just clouds that's it no rain okay it's been one minute and we are done it's just two box wines we got a pinot Grigio and cabernet cabernet sauvignon all right let's go pay and deliver all right we got everything here let's go deliver let's do it all right we got a a little birdie here hey birdie how you doing Say hi to the Joyzy Deliver. Bye, buddy. I'll see you later. See you later. Oh my goodness, guys. The time is 12.52 p.m. and we completed that $14 order for two items. Man, you guys are not gonna believe what happened. I'll tell you now. All right, so the, I, I'm pretty sure the guy has the address wrong, but he keeps putting the address right. And then as I was, I started delivery, I had a huge instructions. I was like, oh my God, what's this? And then I, I was reading the instructions. I'm like, oh man, so this is not where the address is. And then I had to make, I had to basically go the opposite way, but it's perfect because I'm in a, I'm in a spot that I like to be in. But anyway, like it was totally not even close to where the address was in Instacart. It's like a whole totally different thing. But uh, I was able to make it. I used basically my context clues. I used like I pretended that there was no GPS. Like we had to go back in the old days. We had to go up streets and up avenues, down streets, down avenues, just like that, you know? But whatever, I was doing that. I was like, like looking at the GPS, like, okay, this is 75, 74, 73, 72, and then, you know, kind of pinpointing. The guy even put a, a picture, whatever. I made it to the house and I was like, hey, the GPS got this totally wrong. Like, I didn't tell him my dad, I was like, man, the GPS was really wrong. He's like, yeah, I know, everybody gets lost. Most people just give up. And he, you know what he gave me? He's like, here you go, just for just for not quitting, you know, for, for actually making it. He gave me some quarters. You know what? How, how much is it? Uh, uh, let me let me let me show you. Actually, you know what? Let me pull over because I don't wanna I don't wanna get in a car crash. I'll, I'll let you know how much this tip. This basically this is a tip I got. It's like oh my god for making it. You know what? I'm not even gonna count it. It's a it's a dollar in quarters and then this big one. This this looks like what? A, a, let's say two dollars. I mean, I guess I could. What, what am I gonna do with this? Oh, I do need to wash my clothes. So I can use this. All right, 
let's go. Okay, the time is one o'clock and we accepted, uh, what was it, Uber Eats order for $12, seven miles, let's go get it. All right, Jamba Juice, Jamba Juice. All right, we got it, let's deliver. All right, so this is uh, to a hospital, a children's hospital that I've delivered to before. And the instructions usually is so, like it doesn't have instructions. Finally, this one has an instruction. Now I know what to do. It says, oh, please. It has very detailed instructions. That's what we need if you're in a business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now let's go deliver. All right, the time is 1.20 and we completed that $12 order for seven miles, or what is it? Yeah, seven miles, or a little, I think it was less. Let us continue the grind, it is 1.20. All right, the time is 1.37 and the rain has started pouring in. Yeah, rain, rain, go away. All right, I drove half a mile and now the sun is back. Okay, Florida, all right. All right so this is why I pick up my own food. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the guy had is in a scooter and he put his Chipotle there, getting cold, and another food in the bottom. So there's two restaurants. And it's just there and it's getting wet. Look, it's about to rain. Look at the window. People just don't care here. They deliver I saw a little Caesars and I, I had it in one of my videos. A guy had a little Caesars pizza box to the side on his scooter. That's just the type of drivers we uh scooter drivers we got over here. I mean there are responsible ones that have their whole setup, but look at this guy. No setup at all. There are responsible scooter guys. There's a lot of not responsible ones, unfortunately. All right, the time is 1.55 p.m. and we accepted an Instacart total wine order for $16 and three items. Let's go get it. All right, we are here, ladies and gents. Let's go get it. All right, it's been three minutes and we are done. This is what the customer wanted. Two Coronas, uh, two uh, Stellas, and four of these, um, of these wine bottles. Seven Blanc. Yeah, Savignon Blanc. All right, let's go. They're probably getting ready for a hurricane party. We know hurricane coming. All right, let's go pay and deliver. All right, we are still here. Let's deliver. By the way, we are switching this up. We're gonna get a, a heavy duty cooler. I'm gonna show you guys once I get it. I ordered it on Amazon and it should come here by Friday. I'm gonna show you guys the new setup. I pass by this house all the time. Look at, look at it, guys. Look how, look how big that is. Oh my goodness. All the time I pass by here. All right, the time is 2.32 p.m. and we completed that $16 total wine order for like eight miles and we are at $123 at 2.30. You gotta love it, oh yeah. But we gotta charge again, like always. But if we get an order on the way back, we will do it. But it has to be a small mileage order or it could be an Uber Eats order that takes us to the charger. How about that? All right, let's go. All right, the time is 2.44 p.m. and we accepted a beautiful order. It is an $11 order for 10 items, Instacart. And the reason why it's beautiful is because it's gonna take us right next to the charger. But I have to shop at a different Publix, which I'm right next to another Publix. The designated Publix is already where the charger is, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna shop in this one. There's no alcohol and there's no deadly items. So I could shop here take it over there and then make 11 bucks and charge the car and then be at 144 bucks by 330 let's go or 315 let's do it all right let's go get it all right it's been 13 minutes and we are done uh there's there was some out of stocks but it's as expected i guess if i it, every time i shop in a different publics you know not everything's in stock all right, we got our bags right here, and then we I put the ice cream here so it can stay frozen. All right, let's deliver. All right, the time is 3.23 p.m., and we completed that $11 order for how many items? Seven items. Now, let's go charge the car and edit videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. On Instacart, we made $106.56, and on Uber Eats, we made $28.43 for a total of $134.99, ladies and gentlemen, that is a good shift. We are not gonna hear anything from trolls for this shift, for sure. They, they attempt to appear every time I make under $100, they appear out of nowhere. Oh my God, too easy. How can you live off of $70? That's what they did when I made $70. But I for the last two or three weeks, I made like $130 on average and crickets. 
So they just come out of nowhere. They come whenever, whenever something bad happens. Oh, hey, I'm the troll. How you doing? But when, when I make $130, nothing. Which goes to my next point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you guys real quick. There was another comment of somebody that said that they get embarrassed sometimes, or I think they meant a lot of times when they do Instacart every day, when they go to like a store every day and then the employees see them. And I'm gonna tell you guys something about when I quit my job full time to do this full time. I was that I was that way. I was kind of embarrassed. I go, I'm doing deliveries, you know, like I'm doing deliveries. Uh, how are people seeing me every day? You know, this and that, ladies and gentlemen. That's when I was so insecure with myself. That was when I was at my worst. When I just quit my job just to do deliveries, just to pay the bills. That's the only reason why I did it. I had no purpose. I had no direction. I was unhappy. I didn't want, I didn't know what I wanted in life. Now the second time I quit, which is now, to do this full time, I already had a purpose. I had a vision. I had some goals. I knew what I wanted in life. I knew what I, what, what was gonna make me happy and what was not gonna make me happy. And I had a vision and I am going to it right now. And now I don't really care if people see me as, you know, the delivery guy. Like if people see me, oh, I don't think about it no more. And I recommend that for anybody that feels the same way, that they feel stuck, they, they feel, oh man, I'm doing deliveries and you know, I don't have a real job and this and that. Do not feel like that. Do not feel like that. You are important. You are val valuable in life. Just find your purpose, find your footing in this world, ladies and gentlemen. If you feel like this, find your footing here, go after it. If, if, you, if you're in toxic, toxic relationships, that is gonna put you back a lot as well. You have to get yourself in a healthy relationship. In healthy relationships, surround yourself with positive people because negative people are just gonna hold you back. And that is what I think. So right now, for example, if you know I make, if I have a bad day and I make 130 or under $100, you know, and then and then I get you know trolls coming out and oh my God, you're easy. How do you do? How do you how do you survive off of this? I don't really care because and I, I used to care in the beginning. But that's just the nature of being a content creator and the and growing as a content creator and as a person. You just learn to stop caring about it. And I don't really care if you know people make fun of me for making under one hundred dollars because I know what my vision is. So I don't really think about it like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's my advice for anyone that's feeling like that. Just find your vision, find your purpose in life. Just keep moving forward. Work, live for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You have to love others and that that is actually very important love everyone around you but love yourself and just keep moving forward think about yourself first and then think about others after take care of yourself because you are the only person that is gonna see yourself every single day you're the only person that's gonna love yourself as much as you so given that and given all of this thank you guys for joining along in this journey don't forget to smash that like button to help me grow up in the youtube world and if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries just subscribe on my people have a good day stay blessed up bless up ladies and gentlemen let's go